What is up? This is your LA in a minute. And from the Tongva people founding Laurel Canyon to the counterculture revolution in the 60s to the Wonderland murders, the Laurel Canyon neighborhood of Los Angeles has been filled with history. Let's get into it. The area we now know as Laurel Canyon was originally inhabited by the Tongva people. They didn't call it Laurel Canyon, obviously, but they lived there for thousands of years using a spring-fed stream that flowed year-round to provide water. The reliable water supply attracted Spanish ranchers who conquered and destroyed the Tongva people and started grazing sheep and planting crops on the hillsides. After California gained U.S. statehood, the area was settled by Americans interested in the water rights. Until the 20th century, passage through the canyon was made on foot or by mule. It was graded in 1907 at a cost of $10,000 and was named Laurel Canyon Road and it ran up the canyon over a ridge of the Santa Monica Mountains and down into the San Fernando Valley. Laurel Canyon as we know it now is a mountainous neighborhood in the Hollywood Hills, bounded by West Hollywood to the west and south, Hollywood to the east, and Studio City to the north. In 1908, Lookout Mountain Park and Water Company purchased 280 acres on Lookout Mountain and it was subdivided and marketed as mountain vacation properties. In 1910, they widened the dirt road on top of Lookout Mountain where they built the Lookout Mountain Inn. In 1915, the first commercial trolley bus operation in the United States, the trackless trolley, ran from the foot of Laurel Canyon at Sunset Boulevard to the base of Lookout Mountain Road. The trackless trolley ran every half hour, but it was discontinued in three years as demand failed to support it. In 1918, a fire fanned by Santa Ana winds burned 200 acres and totally destroyed Lookout Mountain Inn. Through the 1950s, the relatively isolated area began to grow quickly but quietly and attracted celebrities and Hollywood stars such as Harry Houdini. In 1959, another fire ravaged the canyon, destroying 38 homes. In the 60s and 70s, though, the canyon made a rapid comeback, becoming a nexus for counterculture activity and a home for many of L.A.'s rock musicians, such as Cass Elliott of the Mamas and Papas, who was famous for her all-night parties. Also calling the canyon home were Don Henley and the Eagles, Buffalo Springfield, Frank Zappa, Crosby, Stills & Nash, and Jim Morrison. Perhaps most famously, the area and its denizens served as inspiration for Joni Mitchell's third album, Ladies of the Canyon. The house she lived in was immortalized in the Crosby, Stills & Nash song, Our House. The still extant Canyon Country store became immortalized by Jim Morrison on Love Street as the store where creatures meet. In 1981, three members and one associate of the Wonderland gang were murdered in the infamous Wonderland murders just doors down from where Jerry Brown, California's governor, lived. Nowadays, Laurel Canyon is a quiet L.A. suburb that developers have infiltrated with multi-million dollar homes. But if you squint just right, you can still see the history from tragedy to fantasy. All right, L.A., it's been a minute.